Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing Suntegrity 5-in-1 Natural Self Tanner. Um, I'll be giving you my overall rating of this self tanner at the end of this review, so make sure to stay tuned. Um, this self tanner sells for $36 and it's 5 ounces. That works out to over $7 per ounce, which is actually very expensive, um, especially for this one, I think. And it's a thick white cream. It kind of more resembles a body butter or a thick body cream. It's definitely on the thicker side. Um, yeah, it's definitely more of like a body butter. And you can't see where you're putting it. Well, you kind of can. So it doesn't have a color guide in it, but it ends up turning white on your skin when you apply it. So you can see where you're applying it. The white cast works as a guide. It definitely has a lot of that soaping effect going on. And the smell of it, they say it has a good smell. I wasn't a super fan of the smell though. It's okay, not great. Um, it smells like DHA with an afterthought of like a girly fruity fragrance. The, it kind of smells a little bit like berries, but that's more of the afterthought to me. The main scent was DHA. And by the next morning, I could smell a lot of DHA smell. I was even grossing myself out how bad I smelled. Um, it kind of smells a little bit sour too, so that wasn't fun. And applying it, like I mentioned earlier, it has that soaping effect, so it takes a while to blend in. Other than that, it's really easy to apply, but it had like sunscreen, it looks white on your skin when you apply it, so I needed to wait a few minutes for it to fully blend into my skin. And it took longer than average to dry. It took about 40 minutes, I think because the product is so thick and needed to all soak into my skin. Um, that was annoying that it took that long to dry, but it's just a thicker product. And you use a lot of this self tanner for only one application. So I think you'll get two, maybe three applications out of this bottle. And for a $36 price tag, that's not very good. The results, so the next, after applying this, the, the next morning I had a light tan and it definitely is more of a gradual self tanner. My light tan looked a little orange, but I applied it another night in a row. After two nights, I had a medium tan, but it looked even more fake after my second application. So for me, even though they say this is a natural self-tanner, it doesn't look very natural on me. It definitely looked like I used a self-tanner and it didn't look like I used a good one at that. It also, um, I had some streaks on my upper body, which caused my tan to look even more fake. So I wasn't overall impressed with my color I got or the results from this one. Um, even though this one is very moisturizing, it has some good moisturizing ingredients in it, my tan only lasted two to three days because it is a gradual tanner. Those usually don't last as long because the color doesn't get as dark. Um, so it only lasted two to three days. I do like that it is vegan, non-greasy, all natural and non-toxic. That's one thing I really do like about this self tanner, but the results just weren't there for me. Men, I don't think you'll like the results of this one. I think there are better self tanners out there. That brings me to my rating and I gave it two out of five stars. So it's not as good as your average self tanner, especially because it's so pricey. Um, I wish it cost less. Um, but I want to know if you guys have tried it and if you liked your results, comment below. Also, if you have a self-tanner you want me to try out, you can comment that and I'll buy that to try as well. And for more information on this self-tanner and many others, please visit us online at selftanning.com and on Facebook and Twitter.